hi guys welcome back to my channel first off i just want to say how on earth is it november already like <laughs> i don't know i don't know why how is it november i'm just this year's gone by so quickly i remember it being january and it being such a long month and it's november so that's scary today as you can tell we are doing my tbr jab chooses my monthly reads last month i didn't do this just because i had it's a scary month i needed scary reads so i couldn't really do tbr but i now have it back i have blown off the dust because we are back we are back doing this um just because I've read a lot of books this month, I feel like a lot of books and it's still this month, it's still October so I'm still going to read a lot of books. I don't know whether to do like a lower target for myself for November because I feel like I might hit a brick wall and go into a bit of like a, a reading room. I hope not, but it might be the case. So I think I might choose seven. Usually I pick eight, I know that's only one less, but I just want a little bit more breathing room so I don't actually have to like, oh, I need to finish my TBR this month because I've surpassed, I have surpassed my yearly reading target. So kind of this is just for fun. This is, I know, right? Reading books now is for fun for me because I've hit all my targets. So we're going to pick seven. Okay. The first one I do want to read, so... With you, I'm going to pick six because I do already have one that I would like to read and I would love to read this because I think November is the perfect month to read this book. I do not know why. This just gives off fairy tale, whimsical. It's about dreams. It's a, like a dream and academy type of thing. And I just think November gives off that whimsical, beautiful, nice, romantic month. Nothing happens in November, so I always struggle trying to pick like a reading criteria. Obviously, October is horror, Halloween, blah, blah. Christmas is obviously Christmas, like all romance and beautiful lighting and snowing and presents and romance and love. November, like November is to me is like January. Like what on earth are you supposed to read in January? And it's just one of those months that I have just not mellowed with yet. So I'm trying to see if this gives off that right vibe to me when I'm reading it. Because um, I'm thinking it will, but I'm not actually reading it yet, so I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, if you do not know what this book is about, it's about, um, it's called Dalagut Dream Department Store. It's the Korean number one bestseller. And it says, you dream you ordered is sold out. You dream the dream. <laughs> what the fuck? It says, the dream you ordered is sold out. So, and there's people, right? There's people walking around in their pyjamas. I think it's so cute. Everything about this is just beautiful. Um, but it's about a girl who finishes her, like, university course. And this is her first job. And she messes up royally. Don't know how she messes up. Is it someone's dream? Does she mess up? So... With it saying the dream you ordered is sold out, my thought is I haven't read the synopsis since I bought it, which was a very long time ago. I do not know when I bought this, but it was a very long time ago. So I've got a feeling she let someone order a dream and that dream is not available. So we kind of, I'm assuming we have to go through her mistake and like fix it. And I think it's just going to be beautiful and I'm very much excited. So that is the first book and that is a really long intro, but that's book number one. Okay. I do have, since this video, my last TBR, Choose My Monthly Reads, this all looks different. And I do have a video up there and I'll put it up here of where I redecorate, reorganise my game room. So have a look at that. I'm not finished as you can see, it's blank. I've got a pile of books right there. I need another bookshelf. And I am gonna, I am still wanting to reorganise all of this. But my newest edition, which I thought I'd tell you and show you, is you ready? I have a cheeky pig with glasses. It's not hung up on the wall yet because I don't actually have a position for it. On that shelf up there, I am going to have a like a, a vase and I put fake flowers in that. I have some perfect, beautiful hanging pink flowers. So I don't want that to be too much going on. So I might move it over here, but it's currently arriving here and you guys should be so jealous because you're not in the room with me. <laughs> actually talking about books though i'm gonna get this back out and then we can talk about what we're going to read i do have a lot of books i have bought a lot of books since my last so this month i bought a lot of books this month 
mid and October because you guys are seeing this in November, honestly. Are you seeing this in November? No, you're not. You're seeing this in October. Okay, so this month I've actually bought a lot of books and I do have a month subscription where I get two books sent across. So I've got a lot of new collections. So we'll see which one I can pick. I have no idea what I want to read, so we'll just go in. Okay, number one. I feel like this month is going to destroy me. I just want to mark that off. Okay, so a book with an animal on the cover. Oh, um... An animal on the cover. I really could have chosen this. That's the funny thing because that has a cat right there. But I'm not. I'm sticking by the rules. And unsure. Unsure. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I wanted originally. Um, I surprisingly, not surprisingly, do not have a lot of books with animals on it. And weirdly enough, I have two books with snakes on. So that's a vibe. Um... The buff special editions. So there's that. This one it says the gods below, and you might have actually heard me like heard me read it. It says if suffering made us strong, then I will be stronger than them all. Okay, so there's that one, but I'm kinda leaning more towards this one. This one's long live evil. And on the back, this one says, a story for anyone who's ever fallen for the villain. And I'm kind of wanting, wanting to read this one, so I think that's just made that decision for me. So that's the second one. Okay, the third one. Well, I didn't pick that one, but it fell out. Which makes me feel like it's going to be the worst pick ever. Okay, so, I'm scared. Oh, okay. This is so bad. Choose a Kindle read. Where's my Kindle? My Kindle is here. Okay, so. Let's have a look. I'm currently reading Tales of a Monstrous Heart. So I'm going to come off that. And I have a lot. So I do actually have the book there that um, Cassandra Clare laid in Midnight, The Dark Artifacts. So I do actually have, they are big books, like they're not for the weak hearted, they are huge books. Um, so I do, I bought that on Kindle because it was on Kindle Limit for uh, Nan and P. So I do have that one. Um, I kind of want to finish the Caraval series because the third one, I've got the third one and I haven't read it. The third one is Finale, um, and the fourth one, I think it's Spectacular, something is coming out, or it's already out, it's just been released, and I kind of need to finish this one off, but the issue is do I want to? That's another question. So there's this one, then I also really, really want to read Belladonna, I know I haven't read it, <laughs> don't come for me, I haven't read that one, so that one's also something that I'm very intrigued for. I surprisingly have a lot of Christmas books here. Then I also have One Dark Window. I know, I stop it, I can hear you through the screen. I know, I need to read them. I need to read them. But do you know when you just hear that much hype? I'm scared because what if it doesn't go up to that hype? What if I find it shocking? What if I DNF it? What if I DNF a book that everyone loves? I'm just thinking about it, it gives me... Oh, I do have Bridgerton. And I need to read them before the next series comes out. And I actually do have Bridgerton on here, but I do have all the books up there. And it is a fairy late special edition, which <laughs> took a while for me to hunt down. But I got it, I got it. So I'm just naming off... So I should have just stuck with the, set of the first one I mentioned, because then I wouldn't be in this dilemma. Okay, no, I'll, what I'll do is I'll read Finale because I really want to read A Once Upon a Broken Heart and I know you need to read um, the Circus Trilogy. What is the actual name of it? You guys know what I'm talking about. I've just said it as well, which just makes it funnier. Um, yeah, the Caraval, not Carnival. Close enough. I want to finish that one and then I can then go and buy the spectacular or whatever it's called and then I can finally move on to Once Upon a Broken Heart. So the Caraval Trilogy finale, that's the third one. 
that's the decision I'm making. Okay. Number four. I know I want to pick three, but I've actually got four in here. So number four. Okay, so this one. Choose any romance book. I just, I'm not in my mo I'm not feeling romance. I'm not feeling romantic. But the TBIJ says it, so the I need to. I need to. I need to. There is actually one book that I've been reading, meaning to read for a while. And I just, I just keep forgetting about it, honestly. But it is um, the ice. I don't know about what the actual trilogy is called, but it's the one from the Icebreaker. And this is Wildfire by Hannah Grace. And I loved Icebreaker. I really, really enjoyed it. And I've actually bought the third one, um, Daydream, which I just think this cover is everything. Oh, do you know what I mean? It's everything. Blue and purple and pink. Stunning. Stop it. So that's one that I'm going to read. Yeah, so this I think this one was on last month's TBR. Um, and I just didn't read it. I didn't have a chance. So I need to get this done and dusted and off my TBR. So that is the next one. If you didn't know what this book is about, um, the first one is about someone who ice skates and someone who does hockey. And I think they're in like university and they have this, obviously, smutty romance like when i say it's smutty it goes in a lot of detail so this series you can expect spice um this one it looks like they are working at a campfire because they do actually have staff on the top and there is like a campfire at the back again i have not read the back we'll never read the back of romances you kind of expect what's going on so i'd like to go in there surprised of the actual story plot like do they fall out is it one bed trip? Is it like enemies to lovers? I'd, I'd rather not know until I'm in the book. And if you do not know, if you do not try this, give it a shot because it makes you actually love romances a lot more. Have you guys ever read that many romances? Well, then you get fed up of reading romances because it's the same plot, it's the same storyline over and over again, and you know what you're expecting here. Like, there's, if you read the synopsis of a romance book, you know basically you've read the story so I, I do I do I go into romances 100% with a surprise obviously I read the synopsis when I buy the book obviously but then once it's in my collection it is never picked up again it is forgotten about until I pick up to read number five okay a fair earlier choice well, this is a fairy loop choose, which I don't think that's good English, so we're gonna ignore that. Um, I do have a lot of fairy loop books, so I mean, I could pick up this one. This one's a fairy loop, but I do have a lot of fairy loop books to choose from. The question is, do I pick a book that I've had for a very long time from fairy loop that I just haven't picked up and read yet, or do I pick up a new release? Because there is a book that everyone's talking about that is a new release and I'm very and much excited to read it. It's called Air. It's a very big book, like it's it's not small. Um, I know I do have, what is it called, um, Ghostsmith, and that's arriving some point this month. Um, but I don't actually have it here, so it's not really good for the video purposes. But I will be reading that because I've just read Ghost. No, I've read Bone Smith. I've read Bone Smith this month, so in October, and I was obsessed. Five star. Got so excited. I've got the special edition of that one, and then I hunted down um, the Ghost Smith special edition, and luckily I found it, and I got that. I got one of the last ones, like the early releases, and then it comes sometime in November. So I will be reading that. Um, but no, so I'm going to pick Air by Saba. Is it Tahir? This one is stunning. Stunning. It's so cute. So this one is a fairy leaf. And if you ask me what this is about, I would not know. But it says an orphan, an outcast, a prince, and a killer will who... I'm sorry. Sorry, what? An orphan, an outcast, a prince, and a killer who will bring an empire to its knees. I honestly have no idea what this is about, but I know everyone keeps talking about it. Um, and it says, love, legacy, power and vengeance. I love a bit of spicy romance. 
a little bit of vengeance vengeance always makes it worthwhile in a book honestly but yeah no idea what it's about kind of don't want to know i can put that down it's my sixth one right a book that matches my top okay well this could basically mean anything um absolutely anything so i'm currently wearing um this top it's it says in my reading era and it's got like loads of skelly bobs doing tarot card stuff it's grey and as my necklace i do have my everyday normal cross that i wear that i got from my great granddad when i was like 12 and then i have this massive m which i love so much it's so big so that's the choice i don't, I don't know how this is gonna go should i go with like reading something about skeletons that would have been perfect like that is that's great i would have read that one my plan is right this top every picture has something to do about books and it says in my reading era so my thoughts were to just get a book about reading um i mean i could take this as just pick any book like a free choice but that's a little bit too easy and i want structure and that's the whole point i do these videos so i might have a book in relation to reading we shall see i do have the lost bookshop that has obviously as you can see multiple books on the cover and it says how far will you go to find your story so i think that's on par um on a quiet street in dublin a lost bookshop is waiting to be found oh for too long opaline martha and henry have been the side characters in their own lives but when a vanishing bookshop casts its spell these three unsuspecting strangers will discover that their own stories are every bit as extraordinary as the ones found on the pages of the beloved books but unlocking the secrets of the shelves they find themselves transported to a world of wonder where nothing is as it seems i think this kind of sold it but i was i will show you the book i was hunting for um and i was going to choose the book that wouldn't burn but that is mighty thick and i've already got a book on my tbr that's also mighty thick decisions all books no matter their binding will fall to dust the stories they carry may last longer they may outlive the paper the library even the language in which they were first written the greatest story can reach the stars that's stunning Eva has lived his whole life trapped within a vast library, older than empires and larger than cities. Levera has spent hers in a tiny settlement, out of the dust where no one goes and nightmare stalk. The world has never noticed them. That's about to change. Okay, so this one's more like mystery, but I'm feeling like this is more november -y. Like, it's more whimsical and cutesy, so... Yeah, the last one, number seven, is... <laughs> I'm meant to be reading the books on my TBR, right? But this says, buy a new book and read it. So, to save me from spending my money, I do have a couple of pre-orders come in. Um, I can either use this for my... Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you. I could use this to go into and read Ghostsmith. Or I could use this to read one of my fairy lit books. I do have a month subscription. I have two month subscriptions. So I'm, I'll use this to read one of them. Probably Ghostsmith. I'll just pop it to P. I'm going to read Ghostsmith, guys. That was on the TBR for the month anyway. Um, so I guess for purposes, um, I will get another one out because that was I was already going to read that one. So to make it simple, I'm just going to stick to eight this month as per normal. And then the next one will be... Eey, okay. I regret choosing that last prompt for Ghostsmith because of this one I feel like could have been Ghostsmith. But it's a predicted five star read. I feel like I could be highly disappointed in this section because what is not? <sighs> right. I could read A Court of Thorns and Roses because I know that's very, very highly rated. Um, but usually the first book of a series is kind of not the best because it's obviously a will bearing. Will bearing? world 
because obviously it's world building and there's a lot of plot in the background, there's backstories, there's people, there's some people, so don't know about that one. A book. So I love Studio Ghibli, right? Studio Ghibli to me is my all time cosy movie I've been watching probably a lot in November. But one of them is Howl's Moving Castle and I just, can we just, beautiful. It's, it's probably one of my most prized possessions in my, in my library. I love it so much. I've watched this movie so many times. I always have Calcifer up on my screen as like the fire for the background. It just gives off homely vibes. And again, this is whimsical, so it might be the perfect time to read this book. Um, they've started to do the whole Studio Ghibli movies. So I've just ordered, um, like pre-ordered Kiki's Delivery Service, which I'm not gonna get until middle of next year. The waitlist on that is a very long time because you pre-order it due to numbers. But that one's about a witch um, who flies and creates a delivery service. That's why it's called Kiki's Delivery Service. Howl's Moving Castle is, he is called Howl and he has a castle on legs that moves around. And I just think it's November time. So you know what, I I'm going to read this book. I'm a little bit scared to read it though, just because of how pretty it's like, I don't want it to be ruined. Like usually I take off the dust cover, but the book itself is just as beautiful. So you know what, I'll read this one. I'll read it, I'll get it off my list and I'll read it and I'll be in a nice little whimsical era of November. Yay. Okay, so this is this month's TBR. This obviously don't include Ghost Smith, which will be coming middle of November I think but yeah compared to what I've been reading this month this looks like so easy to do oh my god like look at my TBR for this month and if you haven't seen it I'll put it up here so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then I've already read a couple on my kindle and this right here is only seven. So yeah, I'm actually quite excited for this. Um, I've been really enjoying my horror, like, gory vampire month. But I just, I'm getting to the stage of my life of the month where I'm just, I'm done. I want some romance. I want some fantasy. I want a little bit of some sum in the background. And it usually doesn't have that. Usually it just has the death the gory, the gruesomeness, with a little bit, a little bit of fantasy and an even smaller amount of romance. So I'm ready to dive into them. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget I do this every single month um, and I upload every single week. So if you want to subscribe, please do and I'll see you on next week's video. Bye guys.